Previously, we created this chart here and we've got some cards here at the bottom. What I propose you is to use ShadCN to create those cards. The card component of ShadCN, it's a regular component. It's really useful. It's probably the one that you are going to use the most because it gives a lot of options to create a nice card like this. So if it's for a login page or if it's for like a, um, a home page with different assets, that you want to show images, text, charts. It's really useful. I didn't inject this high chart component into a card because I wanted to make a separate course on the card. But here I'm going to show you how to create this type of card. So I'm going just to copy paste this and I'm going to inject. And again, be safe. It's always ShadCN view that we use here because we are under Nuxt. Do not try to use the ShadCN of um, next yes, it's not going to work. So I'm going to come back here. I got my card. And the first thing that I want to work on, it's the model of the card. So here I got my index page and I want to switch between three different cards. Okay. So I'm going to create a model for my card. So I'm going to come down here and type cards and it's going to be an array. So basically I'm not, it's not a course about TypeScript. So here I'm not going to create a card type and explain to you how to inject it here. I just want to show you how you can display cards as easy as this. So let's say that we're going to have a title for these cards and here it's going to be sales. Then we're going to have some kind of progression. So the progression number is going to be the percentage of the progression of a chart. So basically, if you have more sales this week than last week, we're going to have a progression number. OK, I'm going to add an amount also. Let's say that this week it's going to be 84.44, whatever. And then I would like to have a label because I'm going to have a component. And here it's going to be view sales. All right. So after that, I'm going to add a description. I think it's going to be like this. Very good. Sales of March 2024. There we go. Then I would like to have an icon. And you remember, we used the icon previously in a course. I'm going to explain it again for those who didn't see the previous course. We can use here next icon to inject directly an icon with the name of the icon here. So it's going to be solar ticket sales outline. I'm going to do three cards like this, and then we are going to loop to show them directly down here. All right, I finally got these three cards that I got here. And what I would like to do is to display these cards directly here, down here, on a specific component using the card component from ShadCN. So I'm going to create a new component, a component that is going to use the card component of ShadCN, which is under the UI folder, right? So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to create a card.view and I'm going to init my component this way. Okay, the thing that I would like to use here, it's the batch component also from ShadCN. We can see here that the batch component will help me to display some elements like this at certain space of my card. Okay, so I'm going just to copy paste this stop my server, install the badge, and it's going to be fine. So I'm going to start again, and we can work on this card component. So I'm going to import badge, okay, directly from here, my component, from, from my UI component. So I can go directly like this and type UI slash badge, so I got my badge. Also, what I would like to do is to come back and to import everything that is related to the card. So I got here the card content, the card footer, etc., etc. So I'm going to just co copy paste this and I'm going to use TypeScript for this. So I'm going to use TypeScript this way. There we go. Then here I got my card and I'm going to create a props because, yeah, remember, I want to inject here. So I'm going to type here uh, props and let's say that I'm going to call it card. You can call it data if you want, whatever. It's not going to be a problem. OK, so I can see that I got my defined props here. I'm going to remove this lang uh, TypeScript because right now uh, my VS Code is not really well configured to use TypeScript on view. Okay, so I got this card and here I'm going to use the card header. The card header, it's going to help me to display some data uh, directly inside the header. So uh, uh, ShadCN thought about everything. He thought about making um, uh, parts of the card that are separated into different elements. So we got the card header, we got also the card content, 
and we got the card footer, something really easy to understand. And in each of them, I'm going to inject some data and we're gonna see in real time how it works. But to see how it works, I need to loop through these cards, okay? So down here, remember, we got this loop and what I'm going to call it's a card here, there we go. And here it's not in free, but it's in the cards list. And I'm going to remove this piece of uh, style that I got here. And I'm going to push here, basically, as a card, I'm going to push my item. So I should be good now to display all the elements. Now it's totally empty, but we can see that we got the three cards here. So the last thing that I need to do here is to change this piece here. I need to use the grid and let's say that I just want to have the grids on LG. So I'm going to type grid scores free and gap four. And if I come back, there are um, a dispatch the right way. Okay, so I can close here uh, this element and I can come back to my card and to work on what I want to display. So inside the card header, what I would like to have at first, it's a paragraph and I would have to have the card title. So remember, we inject the card title here. I'm going to come back and suddenly we got sales, refunds, payout, which is really cool. Then I want to use the badge. Remember, we got the badge component, which is up here. And I would like to have this card progression. OK, card progression. And after that, I'm just going to add a plus and I can add the percentage or the percentage just after. So if I come back, we can see that I got this. It's not really nice. I would like to have a class. And for now, it's going to be static. If it's positive or not positive, I mean the number of card of progression, I would change between colors here. Let's assume it's going to be always positive. I'm going to keep it that way. Uh, what I would like to do is up here, I can inject here my flex justify between okay and uh, item center so i would like to have everything on one line and uh, there we go so here we see that it's not applied we don't apply here the flex item center and the justify between so probably i would put it into a div and i'm going to save that I'm going to coming back in here and yes there we go this way we are good. And if I come back, suddenly we got these elements that are very nice to see. I'm going probably to push it this way here, like this, and it's going to be good. Okay, so on this card header, I would like to add some space and I'm going to do it just like this with some padding, some custom padding. I would like to have a card with um, sizes that are really um, narrowed, okay? Really, really narrowed. So here I can put probably a pix for it's going to be better. But here I, want, I would like to have something really narrow. Okay, this is good. Now for the card content, here it's the same. I'm going to apply some um, a style here. And what I would like to do here, it's probably to have a border B because I would like to uh, separate the bottom here from the top. And I would like to have something like this, a card with a separation. So I do the padding inside the card content instead of doing it on the parent. Otherwise, I would have some white space. Here, what I can do is directly to create a new div. And I'm going to add some custom uh, text. And I would like to have a big font. And this is where I'm going to do a lot of style on the number of the amount. So first, I'm going to have a span with a dollar. And then I'm going to have another span with the card dot amount. So when I come back, suddenly we can see that I got these big number, which are really nice. I would like to do something really nice with that. I would like just to put here a text neutral here, and I'm going to put 300. And I would like to have the dollar in gray like this, to have a card that looks like this, right? It's a, it's a nice uh, effect, in my opinion. What I would like to add also is probably here on the production here, a plus. So when I come back here, suddenly we can see that we've got the plus, plus 8%, plus 14%, uh, uh, etc., etc. So as you can see, we can have a very nice design with the cards like this. It's really cool. Feel free to grab the code and use this card into your project. This is made for that. Okay, let's finish with the footer. I prepared something really nice for you. I'm going to use flex gap two py two here px two item standard justify between, 
and we should be good here. What I prepared for you is something really cool. Here I will have a div and then I have a paragraph. And in this paragraph, I'm going to have the card.description. Okay, so I'm going to put the card.description. And then I'm going to use the button component from ChatCN with the card.label. Okay, here, the first thing, I'm going to add a variant, which is outline. And on the paragraph, I'm going to add a class grow and a text excess. Okay, so we got down here, as you can see, the um, description and then a button. So view says, view refund, view payout. So I'm going just to come here, view payout. So here we've got something really nice, but what I would like to add, it's probably here an icon, something nice because it's too empty. I mean, you could keep the card like this, but it's too empty in my opinion. So remember we created this icon stuff and here I can call icon from next icon and I can put a size, a basic size of 20 and I'm going, going to inject the card.icon uh, that I had before and I'm going to add a color black. I would like to make it in a square. So I'm going to do class with 888, there we go, BG neutral 100. And after that, I'm going to add a rounded flex item sender and justify sender, like you always know. So when I come back, look at this, we've got these really nice icons that are displayed. All right, if we look at the final result, it looks stunning. We have these cards here with the buttons and probably we can pass an action after. But here, those cards are really nice a basic style that we can use. Probably we could have some chart in here, probably in the future, but we've got something that looks really nice for now.